Janet Brad, the first black woman to earn commercial pilot's license. Janet Brad became the first black woman to earn a commercial pilot's license in the United States in 1942. She was born in Griffin, Georgia on March 24, 1907. Ms. Bragg attended Spelman College and earned a registered nurse degree in 1929. She became interested in flying while working in Chicago and joined the Aeronautical University, an all-black aviation school located in Robbins, Illinois. She was the only woman in the class of 24. Ms. Bragg used her money to buy a plane and rented it out to the school due to the school being poor. She earned her private pilot's license while at this school. Unfortunately, black pilots were not allowed to fly out of the airfields where white pilots flew. She was a very busy person and in the 30s wrote a weekly column called Negro Aviation for the Chicago Defender. She also joined the civilian pilot training program in Tuskegee, Alabama, but was denied a commercial license because she was colored, even though she completed her program. Ms. Bragg was determined and was not going to let anything stop her. She attempted to join one of the Air Corps to support troops during World War II, but was not accepted even though she was highly trained. In 1942, she finally received her license, but used her nursing skills to open a nursing home business. Ms. Bragg married Sumner Bragg in 1942 and both ran the nursing home business together until they retired in 1972. Her husband died in 1986, and Ms. Bragg became an activist for civil rights and housing opportunities in Arizona. Ms. Bragg died April the 11th, 1993. Janet Bragg, the first black woman to earn her commercial pilot's license.